何かあるようだなそうそう何がいいかのそうだの渦巻きなると物語 What's good ducks? Thanks for watching This video has been sponsored by no one <laughs> So please share it if you like it Give me a virtual hug and enjoy Yo what up YouTube What up what up what up Alright man I probably, you know, I got other recordings that I have recorded and uh, I'm gonna have to put this one first. Uh, the next upload I upload, or probably within a few since I gotta do them out of order, there's one called Trigger Warning. And I'm telling you guys right now that are, you know what I'm saying, you know, more on the uh, faint of heart side, that disclaimer, which I, uh, rudely put at the end of the video on purpose to uh let you know that you know what i'm saying on my page and on my channel i don't have to use a disclaimer but i will for the sake of being agreeable but the facts of the matter you guys is if you if you can't handle the content or the heavy metal ministry i suggest you unsubscribe many people have within the past few days Believe it or not. Um, but that, you know what I'm saying? Me, uh, like I said, man, I do not care about subscribers because I know 98% of people ain't worth shit. That's just facts, man. <laughs> That's just facts. And it could be a mutual thing. I might not be worth shit to, uh, to you. And that's totally, that's, that's even better because you don't have any like single white female situations or anybody. <laughs> any type of fatal attraction or any type of strange shit going on all i really need on my page you guys to keep it 1000 are two subscribers <laughs> that's all i'm looking for uh because it only takes two witnesses before the lord to uh count something as being witnessed or as a fact so the fact of the matter is a lot of people watch videos for different reasons and i tell you guys this thing with discernment you have to be very careful because it can be highly offensive 
Why? Because people show more than they think that they show. Okay? Like, take for instance, the disclaimer, I freaking, hey man, like I said, if it's on my heart, it's coming out, right? Whether it's, whether it's offensive or not, and then, you know, we can uh, uh, chit chat about it later if we want, but quite frankly, guys, I wanna be very clear to you. This is my channel. I, I'm, uh, I'm unapologetic, you know what I'm saying? Unless I said something offensive in terms of the word or there wasn't a cause in terms of me offending you. But the fact of the matter is, Israel is called a stiff necked people. So the fact of the matter is, why it's called a heavy metal, metal ministry? Because y'all niggas is knuckleheads. A lot of y'all niggas is knuckleheads, bro. And I'ma just keep it 1,000, okay? I'ma just keep it 1,000 with you. You know what I'm saying? Being politically correct, saying everything the right way, it's not gonna work in 2022. That's why preachers don't make more advancements than they do, all right? Because I look at things like this. It's all about the message being delivered. If you have a bully and you tell him, hey man, will you please stop kicking the back of my chair? He's gonna laugh and fuck you up. Now, if you turn around and you say, hey dude, I got a knife, cut that shit the fuck out, they're gonna stop. Now, let me show you something with your hearing. Did I turn around and say that I was gonna stab him? No, I didn't say that, but he got the message, didn't he? That's how I deliver my ministry, like a punch to the throat. I told you guys this shit. The problem why you don't hear it and you leave little like comments where, you know what I'm saying? I'm, a I'm not gonna repeat myself, man. Now, any of y'all watching my channel can look at my comment section and know that I get very, very few comments. I don't get trolls and I don't get comments. But when I do get comments, I get comments that have nothing to do with the subject matter. Like take for instance, a lady left a comment, all right? You know what I'm saying? On one of my videos, and she was just like saying something about cussing. Uh, aren't we better than that? And that's why I left the disclaimer saying, hey man, yeah, like I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that. So you don't know what I'm better than or less than because God is unbiased. Maybe you are better than that and you're in the wrong group. You know what I'm saying? You should, you know what I'm saying? You know, click. You know what I'm saying? If you have a mouse and you have not lost it, click off the video, go to a different, right? And that shows you things that have to do with mind control. When you listen to a three hour podcast, that's like a very dense book and people are worried about everything other than getting the message. Boy, and with the way that I communicate and I talk, that would be pretty hard to do. So I look at you like an AI, right? I look at you like a bot. Now, this lady has left a comment before and she relatively leaves comments in the same vein. And you guys, a lot of times, people, people who deal with this Christian faith, there's a lot of fake ones, all right? Now, I'm not saying that I know this lady personally, but I just wanna let you know, man. I knew this lady back in the day, not this one, a different lady on uh, YouTube that I guess would watch my videos and uh, you know what I'm saying? She eventually unsubscribed. But one thing that drove me crazy about her is when I talk to people and then they say, oh, and every time they mention God, they say, oh, Father God, Father God. And I just, the first thing I want, like the vein pops out on my neck and I'm like, you fake fuck. You are so far from being that fucking holy, right? Two, you're not a Catholic. That's, that's Catholic activity. That's something that feels like something a Catholic would say. Would say. Father God, Father God. And when I pray to Father God and I do this, and it's just like the extra redundancy, right? Shows the aptitude of the IQ, right? <laughs> Listen, man, like it's over gaudy, it's overzealous, and it's fake. You it don't even sound right, right? So, you know what I'm saying? It's one of those situations. But anyhow, she's worried about my cousin. Uh, how many podcasts and videos have I post before she needs to figure out like, yo, maybe this channel 
is informing me. But like gnats, like sometimes, like maybe it's flies to honey. I have no idea, right? But my, my communication really has a lot less to do with honey and more to do with the message, right? If it's sweet, then you like the message, right? <laughs> That's about it. You know what I'm saying? And I just have a hard time wrapping my mind around niggas on YouTube, man. Like, uh, fuck, man. It reminds me of this movie called, like, Bug Life. And there was, like, this one bug, if I remember correctly, that was just fucking completely bad to little bad to one. Like, his eyes was rolling all, all around in his head. And, he, you know, he was crazy. He was, like, a comical character. But some of these people, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, t okay, for real. Okay, so, like, listen, man. Uh, another person left a comment on the glue debacle video, okay? And uh, this brother said, uh, get, I, it was some whole paragraph. I guess he said that, you know, he's struggling with some health issues. He wanted a video request. Or how would you deal with struggling with declining health uh, spiritually, okay? And then he put some other stuff uh, more into detail, uh, racist uh not racist but uh nurses being biased and, and 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 not really cool and all this that and the other and it's like dude like i understand but you guys listen that my first comment to him was like uh i don't know my first comment to him i think i called him ai you want to know why? And, he, and I guess he was like, nah, man, I'm not, I, like, he was put like, nah, man, I'm not AI. But anyway, he got kind of offended. But listen, why do you fucking, out of all the videos, post about your declining health on a video titled The Glue Debacle with the Gorilla Glue Girl? Like, yes, I think something's wrong with you. Yes, you seem like an AI. You seem like someone who is not really connecting dots or get the point. Or you seem like somebody who have no respect towards my channel to talk about the comment content matter. Notice how these comment commenters doesn't comment about the content message or subject. That's very hard to do with me because I am an excellent communicator. Okay. Now, one thing about that, just completely, you know what I'm saying? And so I eventually... You know what I'm saying? Like I laid there for a couple minutes because right when I woke up at like 6 a.m. or something like that, 6, 6.30. And I'm like, all right, man, this dude said that he had declining health. I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. So I answered the question. And then I guess by that time, he was writing in his, uh, his comment back to me about him not being AI. And the only response I had to him was like, hey man, normally like, People typically don't go to a bird show and ask about helicopters. Like that just wouldn't make sense. So you're talking about your declining health, this whole spill as for a video request on, on the fucking glue debacle, not even my most recent video posted, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, you found the most derogatory fucking video to post about your declining health and how would you deal with that spiritually? Now, on one second, people say, well, he has declining health. No, it doesn't matter if your health is declining or not. You have not respect for the type of message or the information that I'm putting up. And if you want that, you could just put that on my most recent video. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way out of that. If, if I just, you know what I'm saying? I posted something last night. If you posted on sleeves too, then I would have been like, all right, man. Like he just went to the most current video. I can see that as sensical, you know what I'm saying? For, for that, but you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if, I'm pretty sure like people who are keeping up my content, that keep up with it. Hey man, like I'm pretty sure they understand what the fuck I'm talking about, right? I mean, it would be no different if somebody came up to me and fucking asked me about the weather. And then all of a sudden I say, you know what? If your car has audio speaker issues, all you gotta do is pull out the ashtray and then it'll sound better. Huh, this is Meta World News, right? Come on, man. And it's just like, no, I, mean, I don't know what's going on in people's heads, but this is the blindness of the day that I'm talking about. And it's like, listen, you know what I'm saying? I've worked very hard for my sanity. The Lord had to deliver me. I, I will not go crazy 
with you. I won't do that. You know what I'm saying? I won't do that with you, right? You gotta work out, you gotta work out, you know what I'm saying? Your salvation, you gotta pray for deliverance. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, if you want to know uh, how to deal with that, you know what I'm saying? I had tons of entries on healing back in the day. Tons of them, right? And out of all of them, bam, the glue debacle. So you guys, if you wanna know why I'm aggro, not that I have to explain myself, do not ask me that shit any fucking more. I am how I am, how I am right now. Unlike you, I am very fucking particularly honest, right? Judge not lest you be not judged. So if you don't want this fucking Kano laser eye looking discerning all through you, man, I mean, people gotta come with some respect, man. You gotta, you gotta come correct. I'm sorry that, you know what I'm saying, your health is declining, but that's like extra information. I mean, I just don't even understand, bro. I don't even understand. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I will, you know what I'm saying? I will pray for you. You know what I mean? I don't know, maybe it's just me. It just seems like the comments are weird. You know, so why would I not think that they're bots? And people say, well, no, I'm not AI. I don't have computer chips. You don't have to fucking be. That's the point of me also covering mind control and the wheat and the tares, as you can't tell the robots from the real fucking people because they all act the same. That's what God was saying in the Bible. I'm clarifying that. And when you come, <laughs> When you come to a gun show to ask about Comic-Con, they're gonna look at you crazy. And then you're gonna say, hey man, treat me with some respect. Don't look at me crazy. I am not a robot. And it's like, thanks for letting me know that because I was very confused, right? My warfare in the beginning of this, uh, of this thing I was saying is against confusion, right? And that's what I get. <laughs> So I guess it's just some frontline shit. That's the only way I could look at it, man. Because this is what I'm talking about, brothers and sisters. And even for those two commenters, I'm not capping. But like, yo, your, your computer, the way it's operating, you cannot see it. But I'm telling you, man, that shit, that shit is fucked up, right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. People's, people's shit is all like just... And to me, that's, that's, that's weird. That's part of that hive mind dynamic. That is that hive taking control of your mind because typically you would be doing more sensible things. Just like when a computer gets a virus, right? That is what's going on when you go to the glue debacle and you leave a comment like that or someone leaves a comment like, hey, we're better than cussing. It's like, uh, you're not my mom? You don't cover my taxes. I'm a grown ass man. And these are things that women do to kind of slightly cut men down. And that's why that whole red pill shit started. You know what I'm saying? It's like, get the fuck out of here, right? I don't need that, right? I don't need that. That's not what the comment section is for when you can click off the video. The comment section is so that you could talk about the subject basis. Hey man, you can even request like a video on the recent one right so that i can understand because when i'm reading your comment i'm looking at the video and i'm saying okay so like what are they talking about right because i think linearly right it's very logical right no disrespect just facts and if you're a real person you'll be able to notice that they're facts but because people are sensitive and it's 2022 those will be two more subscribers hey man it is what it is you got to make the appropriate decisions for yourself right and I'm trying I'm trying to think um, I'm just gonna respond to uh, a brother's comment here um, he left a comment uh, regarding the upside down kingdom and I could clearly tell he totally didn't listen to it because I'm pretty thorough and I, I and I cover pretty much uh, I pretty much cover all the holes that could be asked but I mean Dude, like when I, okay, you guys, like, it's like this. When I drop a dense video, that video is dense, man. But I will go through the trouble to find what somebody is talking about, right? But if you're talking about something that I directly addressed in the video, 
I know that somebody is passively listening to the video, which is fine, but it's just like, if you're listening to the video passively, uh, not really listening to the words or, you know what I'm saying? You're not really in a place of, of, of trying to actually understand, but just having something to listen to. And that's, that goes back into like, you know what I'm saying? Hearing, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it, the, the Lord has to rule the scale from your eyes and he has to open your ears. You see what I'm saying? Like, cause like, I'm being honest, people can listen, but just because you listen to something doesn't mean you can actually hear, right? And he basically proved my exact point that I addressed in the video, in the video, brother, in the video. And you guys, it's totally, it's totally fine. It's just, I don't wanna rehash all of that information that's in the video. I just suggested he look back at the video again, which he will not do, right? Because he wasn't looking at that video, probably for that reason. I don't fucking know, man. But in the video, I say this, man. I said, <clears throat> I said, Jesus, right? This is the upside down kingdom, right? So how did it become upside down? Well, in the Garden of Eden, you couldn't die, but they took of the fruit, right? So all of a sudden, death entered. Now you got Lucifer or the devil, all right, who manifests himself as an angel of light, knowing that he's the king of darkness. That would be upside down, right? And so his comment was saying, like, that would make Jesus Lucifer, in which in the video I do directly address that God is the same, oftentimes, yeah, I always address, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Everything else will change is the point of the video, except God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You will change, everything around you will change, everything will change. So anyone who doesn't have connectivity or relationship with the, with, with, with the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, okay, you're gonna get tossed about. You're gonna go along with every single trend that gets thrown up in the world. And this is what, when you, when, you, when you are connected to them, it's like it creates a spline. And that spline is like a pillar. And that's what it talks about the 144 in Revelation, because those pillars do not move. The whole rest of the world will change. And that's what makes an individual so-called, you know what I'm saying, uh, the light or whatever, you're showing Christ light because everybody else will change with trends and everything like that and you will remain consistent, right? So if there is no consistency in the world and everything is changing, that is the chaos. The order out of the chaos is you who become consistent in which the world could look at and say, when they come across you in your daily patterns, going to work or whatever, and they're like, you know what, that guy is like, the, the, the control group, like, you know, I could trust that guy. He's consistent. He's the same, he's honest. Everybody out here is lying. That's how you pull from there. You're able to pull people into the truth and into Christ if they're looking to be more stable, okay? But that's the point. This kingdom is upside down, it's chaotic, it's crazy, all right? And the only peace and comfort one will have is in the Lord. That, that, is, that is the point of that. That is just a summary. You don't have to go back and listen to it. It's just to say, point out different things that are opposite of what they are. Take for instance, Christ went into Calvary, all right, on a colt that's basically a donkey and they mocked him for that. But he's returning uh, on a white horse. You see what I'm saying? Like he knew what he was doing. You understand? What the people didn't understand was that this kingdom is upside down. So he didn't go to Calvary on a horse, right? So what happens to all your noble people and things like that in heaven when, when the Lord shakes everything down? It talks about them having more of the common line jobs, right? You know, being, you know what I'm saying? Custodians and things like that. And your custodians that people look at and despise and things like that, he chooses those people to sit way high you know, those people will be like kings and stuff like that in the new kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? It's totally different. It's the upside down. So that's the point that I'm saying. But Christ is the pillar. So 
like he remains the same only him okay no animal no nothing else him right all of us were subject to change you know what i'm saying you know and, 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 and look look how many businesses will be here you know what i'm saying in five years right that all that's going to change the economy inflation all of that is going to change everything is going to change right when people give you information when people get into these conspiracy theories and things like that when you look at all the channels guess what their information is constantly changing day by day i have told you the same shit since 2013 right because when your shit is correct there's no need to adapt or evolve at all right so that's what it's like to you know in terms of like being a pillar that's what i that, that's what i would like to work to so that i can have comfort and peace in my life you know what i'm saying so the upside down kingdom is a world around you that's constantly changing around you and you are constantly changed either a lot or by a very little but everything changes except for the lord now as you connect and grow with the lord he likens us to trees because trees are like pillars they're very strong right you're not get you're not gonna get moved about by the wind People are not going to be able to confuse you or anything like that. But I will, I'm going to tell you guys like this on the growth pattern, just in this, you know, you know, I got targeting and on top of that, people just notice how they dissuade the people that have these comments. They dissuade all of that. Right. And it's like they have their little comments to make, you know, this is the same type of lady. Okay. That left that one comment about me cussing that will fucking bash you or kind of condemn you or kind of side eye you, you know what I'm saying? For you saying a few cuss words when there's a fucking, you know what I'm saying, candle under your balls, burning your ball hair, singeing your ball hairs. Yeah, you're gonna say some cuss words, dude. Like, go back to the 50s, what the fuck, right? I know, I'm such an asshole, but it's just like, the fuck is wrong with her brain? Let's talk about, this is my page on my channel, I'm a grown ass adult. She does nothing for me but come here to monitor how much I cuss, but she doesn't work for the FCC. Who are these fucking people? All right? <laughs> That's your police state right there. It's already integrated into the system, right? And that's why I said, can you be a perp and not know it? And there's something systematically taking over the minds of people when you can watch that much content with that much information and the only thing that you have to fucking say is we are better than cussing aren't we what am i in the fucking kindergarten like where is it where does this shit come from are you controlling your own brain i bet you she is not if people are not exercising their fucking mind man even if they were to, and I, you know even if they were normal before shit is changing that's the point of these videos. You guys, I know some of this shit is entertaining and fun to look at because it's trippy. Hey man, you better worry about your fucking brain. It's happening to everyone. You gotta understand. You gotta understand what I'm saying. How does everybody get the memo? How, what, how does everybody on the same page with the new normal, but some of us have seemed to miss the memo? The same things to us still look weird. That is being a pillar, right? The same things, right? Not that we capping. It's just like, okay, like I just, we were going this way. We had our issues, but like I was still kind of fit in the world. Now I just, I don't know what the fuck is going on, right? That's what's happening to, so how everyone's on the same page is soul eater You're, their psyche their minds are getting eaten okay those contracts are not binding the point of me saying that also is two edge you don't need a contract to lose your shit okay and from there you're just a victim of wherever wherever this chaos takes you mass shooters this that the other hey man i'm doing my job i, I i'm putting the information out there so that hopefully people can be aware around me and freaking 
don't get caught up in no bullshit. Because let me tell you something, man. It is a lot of shit out there that you could get caught up in. And that's the point of me describing my testimony. Not to say, hey, man, my life is just so fucked up. No, this is me saying, here, take my embarrassing pain so that you don't have to fucking go through that or experience that. I, I, I experienced that for you. You know what I'm saying? My nephew probably ain't old enough yet, but I'm saying, hey, man, some of those chicks out there might have teeth. You understand what I'm saying? Places you don't expect, right? It's a real thing. So don't fuck around, right? That one night stand, you don't really want that shit, bro. You don't want that shit because you don't know what the fuck is out there. And it's a lot different than in the 90s. Let me tell you that, right? So that's the point of this channel. No, nothing more. If you guys have something that you want to, you know what I'm saying, ask about the content matter or something that you disagree with, that's totally fine. You leave a content or a comment. I'm totally open to that. I'm totally fine with people disagreeing as long as it's about the content of the fucking video. <laughs> Seems like I never get a, 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 a comment about the content that I posted. And I just gotta think, like, do pe are people just walking around cross-eyed or what? Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I'm analytical. So when I look at that, I'm just like, yo, man. And I'm looking, okay, I'm looking at your, I'm looking at your brain. Like, okay, how did that come out? from here this video like you know what i'm saying one plus one is nine hypothetically speaking in the new normal day that is what it is even will smith got on fucking what do you call it the fucking tv show he's like maybe i don't want you know what i'm saying uh two plus two to equal four maybe i want two plus two to equal five because you know what I'm saying? Who said two plus two have to equal four? His computer's fucked up, he's gone. He was on a live talk show talking about that shit, right? And this is an agenda and he wasn't capping. He was talking about sorcery and magic. Well, evidently it worked Will Smith because people will watch a shit ton of content and then they'll fucking leave an irrelevant message, right? Your computer is fucked. That's what I'm telling you. You guys, you guys gotta get to that Bible, man. You got to hey man, say some prayers, throw it up for the most high. Hey man, grab my shit, my brain, and just like pull it out, right? Because your computing is, it, 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 is, is nonsensical and non-logical. And when it's nonsensical and non-logical, and I answer in a logical way, then when you get emotional, it's my fault for you coming to my page. <laughs> right? Like... Help me make that make sense. All right, peace and blessings with you all. I'm out.
Yo, yo, what up, YouTube? I guess I'm on my, uh, on my Rob Zombie shit. Any of you guys remember that hit song by Rob Zombie? <sighs> the director uh, called More Human Than a Human. Well, that's what you're experiencing. A lot of you guys who deal with, like, trolls on your page and things like that, most of them are AI bots. Because who conducts themselves in a manner to troll over something that they have no interest in. I mean, that's just rudimentary and basic. Generally, if I click on a video I'm not interested in, I, I go somewhere else, right? Automatically, right? Then you have certain people who uh, tend to comment on your videos and uh, talk about you cussing and do not have any other questions regarding the subject matter. They get all of it. They just, uh, the cussing is unbearable. You sound like a fucking robot. I will give you no respect. I'm sorry. I, it's just, you're more human than a human. And if you're human, let a motherfucker know. You know what I'm saying? And also at the same time, this AI, man, you know what I'm saying? I upload hella videos, right? And the shit always gets blocked. And let me tell you something. When they block it, when you click on uh, copyright claims or whatever, they'll have a list of files and it'll tell you what files that it won't accept, right? So then you can go in and you could deduct that portion of the fucking video. Well, when you do that and you upload it again, it'll be something else that's different than that that wasn't listed in the first one. And I'm like, ah, caught your ass, right? So me and that AI had a little chit chat, right? Sure, it's not feeling too good right now. And every now and again, it's like that habitual line stepper on Dave Chappelle where you got to check it. And when I check it, I uh, pray it up before court. Then some fucked up shit happens that I don't understand. And then it gets really sad. That's the only way that I'm able to get you guys content. But look, look at how much work it takes just for me to use the fucking Internet to have freedom of speech. Right. And I'm sure you guys are going through some of this shit. It's the AI. The AI is discriminating you. It is your shadow ban, it's blocking you from the rest of the web, and it's also discriminant. So the clip you use that like fucking the other 90% of the population use with no copyright claim, uh, rights, they want you to go and get the copyright for them. Man, that sounds like a forerunner to me, right? Now you two could justify all the other people because you had to do work on top of work just to use the internet, right? You got to start kicking back at YouTube and busting it down for discrimination and saying, hey, man, these guys are not about social justice. And if you pay attention to the print, when you upload your video on the very page where you could click Premiere, read the last little statement in gray that's like in little print behind a title. And it'll say, uh, read the community guidelines to keep our people vibrant. So that tells you the whole Rainbow Coalition is associated with Google. Google's on full stream. And that's why this fucking sentient Android computer fucking hates your ass. Right? Unless you're doing semen retention, then it probably doesn't care. Right? But that's what's going on with it. You know what I'm saying? If you're not down with this new normal shit, then basically the entire spirit of the world is going against you. You have to do all this ridiculous gymnastics. You gotta be fucking Spider-Man just to get through the week, right? <laughs> Shit, dude, for heaven's sakes, and I'm gonna be pissed, and I ain't gonna have any fucking mercy on any of this bullshit because you get what you give. And I got a lot of shit to give, motherfuckers. Let me tell you something by this point in time. So, <clears throat> this is the thing. The reason why those mass shooters and things like that, they're probably getting fucked with with the AI. They thought it was fucking real people when really that shit was coming from a fucking UFO. Right? <laughs> That's what's going on. That's why you guys are fighting so hard. It takes you fucking days and weeks to do one fucking thing that is just a simple ass process. That's why the people around you are just floating in a daydream thinking things is so easy. Right? Because as long as you're fucked up, this system will allow you to persist and you'll be very successful at being a fuck up. That's how it works. Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.
Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's up, what's up, what's up? Um, I'm here, I'm going to talk about fucking closing doors and things like that. And I don't know exactly how to do it. I know a lot of people talk about a bunch of shit that they be fronting on in the new age about, like, closing doors and shit like that. You want to know why? Because, like, really, like, I doubt they could do that physically. You cannot do spiritual things <laughs> physically. I don't care if you do witchcraft. Witchcraft, at best, is a fucking call sign for a spirit or a UFO to do something to you. That is it, okay? You cannot do spiritual things physically, right? It does not work, right? Now, if there's a manifestation of spiritual power that occurs physically, then that may be possible, but you are not gonna find that with witchcraft, right? Common ingredients that you could buy from the store and put together and somehow manifest some type of miracle. Right? I just, I almost got this shit together. I just gotta go to the grocery store and buy some chives and parsley. Right? Common shit or certain herbs and shit. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. Right? And that's what you buy it for, and your head is so fucked up and menial that you don't use it to solve world hunger or anything like that. You're so selfish. Just only pertain to what you want. This is the mentality of those around you. And when you go places and they throw curses on you and you work at these fucking facilities that got these secret organizations and Masonic hallmarks, those staple people that's been with the company for like 20, 25 years, and you're like, why in the fuck would you do that here? Right? Those people around you that's been working there for like five years but it's impossible for them to get fired no matter if they just fucking started, like pull their shit out and start screwing the floor, right? They somehow get like, they got like a million lives at that company, they can't, come on, man. Those don't come from being a hardworking employee. They're fucking each other in there, right? It's a whole S&M thing and it becomes a game and the game comes more important than the employee. So they spend the entire ship gossip, gossiping. Right? Then they hate you because you're a worker that works hard or you work fast. And even at factories and warehouses, any of you guys that work for them, I'm pretty sure you ran into it too. People will ask you, why are you working so hard? And it's like, why are you working so soft? Uh, how do you do that? Right? Like their thoughts are totally in a different, it's kind of like a retardation or something. Like, I don't know, man. You know, this is the world I live in. And uh, let's say you work at one factory or you work at one job, anywhere, wherever the fuck you work, man. Graphic design, whatever. And you work with those people and the tensions were weird just simply because your beliefs and your faith and the spirit that you have. But you know, you get through it and it's time to move on. You work at a different place. And the people at the new place, not only are they different and that place has its own vibe, but that former spirit at that old place you work is stacked on top of that fucking place where you, where you work, you know, the next place you work. And you keep doing like that, you guys, all those places tend to um, congel together, okay? And you got all these strange vibes and strange things going on between coworkers that are, you know, oddly familiar from former places you work, but also is at a new place and also has its new vibe, but it's very old also. Kind of very new normal or new age, right? What if it is relative to the individual? What if you never leave a place of employee? Look at all the sheets of paper you have to fucking sign just to work there. You even got a piss in a cup that's a part of your DNA. Sometimes you have to show your blood. They got to check it for certain things. Credit check, everything else like that. They basically own you. Every job is a plantation pretty much, right? Those plantations stack upon one another, Job, and you start feeling, boy, this place is eerily familiar, though I've never been here before, right? The people around you even act eerily familiar because they're empty. They're vacant. There's a different spirit in there, a spirit that's familiar from the first place. The same types of murmuring and gossiping, like a machine or a chain on a bike that goes from one end to another. They all seem to do the same thing as cogs on the wheel 
how are we not in the fucking matrix? I literally feel the more we walk, it seems like we're in the matrix, literally, with fucking sentinels fucking out there the whole night, man. Like, this is a fucking, this is some weird type of fucking simulated world. And look how drastic the changes are being made on a day-to-day basis. Basis. You don't even have to watch the news. You can just go outside. And all the townspeople seem to get the memo and just change accordingly to the day. So if you're not going along and you're recognizing the changes that others do not recognize, that means you are becoming as a pillar because you're not getting tossed about by the wind. The wind is like the spirit. That's how strong they are. Okay? It's fucking happening. Right? And it's happening rapidly. Right? How long can we be ourselves before the new founding fathers and the purge? Who knows? It seems like we're following the modality of all the movies because those movies were made for a reason and these spirits have an agenda to snuff you out because they can't handle the truth. And in this thing, there are a few channels that I watch and like that we are like lawyers as a few good men. What can be said about today's time versus 10 years ago? If you can remember that. That's a good meditation exercise. I often do it a lot. I talk about the 90s a lot. You guys really meditate. If you lived in the 90s, maybe even just 10 years ago, really think about how the world was and how they conducted themselves. And then you will begin to realize the drastic speed that has taken place in the world changing. You should almost feel the draft of the breeze of the world passing you by. And everybody is so knowledgeable and everybody knows so much shit. But in that shit that they know, they know nothing. They say a bunch of words and they tell you nothing. But to them it's very valid, right? Guys, I mean, we're living in historical times, man. Like, you know, when I was born in 83, shit, I never thought this shit would turn out like this, man. This shit is fucking weird, bro. You know what I'm saying? We live in a day and day, a day and age that's so drastic and dead that honestly, man, though living is a gift, I can't tell. Right? I'm not even any longer empathetic because I realize people don't fucking think, right? I can't open myself up as a vessel and have empathy and care and concern of this type of world in today and age. You will ingest all the toxicity in the environment around you and all that shit will mix together. All that weirdness, that strange fire, those strange spirits. As a boy, I was an empath, but as in becoming a man, I, you gotta keep your energies and your feelings and all that other creepy crawly shit to your fucking self, right? <clears throat> That's out of love, cause I don't wanna hit anybody in the throat. I really do mean that, right? Now Christ, Christ is definitely when he walked to earth and an empath, but I think you will find that he doesn't he doesn't have to be. And that it's not suitable for us, okay, in this day and time to be like that. You no, know, use rationale. You need more rationale. You need more clarity and mode of thinking to be able to uh, adjust to this type of shit that we're in. That's just the truth. So, uh, <laughs> hey man, you know, you go out there, you fill in these eye vibes and frequencies and shit like that. And let me tell you, man, like, even in my situation, man, yo, these, these women seem strange, right? You can clearly, I'll, t- I'll tell you like this, you can clearly tell who's dead inside because they will literally look like a robot or act like a bot to you, right? You wanna know why? It's because their soul isn't intact, all right? When their soul's not intact, 
they are not able to perceive uh, messages that you clearly convey because they're just on autopilot. They're just going through life as a computer and that is your brain function. That is your calculator. Press enter start. That's how they operate. Daniel chapter two, verse four, three, the iron mixing with the miry clay. You cannot, you cannot recognize them from a clone or a uh, robotoid. There is iron. They don't feel anything because they just operate off of knowledge and rationale. And I think that maybe in this time, the reason why it's changed so quickly is because they're all connected to a system and uh, when that soul is not intact, that free will and everything else like that, it goes right out the fucking window, okay? The Lord came to collect. He said, all right, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool, fuck you, right? Most of us, you know, judgment could have came and passed by us just as quickly as this. The world is still changing this shit, but shit. I don't think the Lord is up there being stagnant. I gotta be honest, the way I see these people and they look like robots. That is really weird to me, right? And they don't even recognize like that their brain is operating like that. Some people's brain and their logic is all fucked up and it's just like, uh, like you do realize like, you know what I'm saying? You don't make any sense, right? They don't fucking know because that is the new normal is to not make sense makes perfect sense, right? It makes perfect fucking sense. So, I'm not social anymore. I don't really want to talk to people. And I think that you could be sold tied to fucking businesses every time you get employed. That's what I think. I think the places stack on, one, on top of uh, one another. I think that's why um, when people meet people and they're so-called targeted and you could just be meet someone walking down the street, say hello, and they're cool as fuck one day, and then the very next day, right, they give you, like, they have, like, some type of menacing look, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got a fart or something, you know? It's like, dude, you all right? You good? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it looked like to me, you guys. Very, very strange shit. All right? Peace and blessings be with you all. I'm out.